Pearl Tutorial Part 106 Encryption using the Crypt function We can encrypt strings with the Crypt function there is no decrypt function it's a one-way process let's create a variable password equals my password and let's say encrypted equals the crypt function we will encrypt the password and now we put in what is known as the salt which is a two character string to add a bit of salt to the encryption so this can pretty much be any two characters for example P and Q and then if we print our encrypted string it will be encrypted with the salt P and Q and the salt will appear at the beginning of the encrypted string so P and Q is our salt and here's our encryption so the salt can pretty much be any two characters but it is dependent on your system's crypt library that works numbers we could also create random salt characters So the recommended characters to use actually are the dot a forward slash the numbers 0 to 9 A to Z in capitals A to Z in lowercase so those are the recommended characters to use and we could say RAND64 twice So let's run this. So this will give us a random salt variable 8q. RD five V, etc. Let's create a little example using standard in. So let's say our salt is equal to the substring encrypted two characters long and
and let's say print enter your password and let's say while standard in if encrypted equals crypt the default variable that gets typed in with the salt We will print logged in and exit the program. Else We'll print password incorrect. Okay, so let's run this. Here's our encrypted password, and it says enter your password. So I'm going to enter a wrong password. Tells me the password's incorrect. I'll enter the correct password this time. My password. And we're logged in. And the program has exited. Okay, so that's how to use the crypt function for encryption.